following tutorial was recorded during a live stream. I intend to do more of those in the coming weeks, so you make sure to follow me on Twitch so you will get notifications when I'm live. Also, I had a lot of issues at the start of the stream, so I apologize if the quality is poor. If you have any questions related to the video or any of the other functions on Hot Utilities, just join us on Discord. We're gonna start a little bit with the playground. Uh, so, say I'm gonna do my uh, first order team and. I want to start out with the uh, Calderon Unmasked. I'm gonna try and do him as tanky as possible and uh, hopefully. Oh, I got in, great. Hopefully, we're gonna get some speed in there as well. So, we're gonna start out by filtering out all the uh, mods. I'm not gonna start by filtering out. You can filter out if you want to. You can go in here. So filter and then you can filter the mods just as you do in the mod manager. All of them, you can choose the, uh, the mod you want to sort it by, the sets and you can have equipped, not equipped, choose all the primaries and exclude secondaries as well just as in the mod manager. So uh, the good part about the playground as I mentioned before is that you can see what you're getting. Uh, immediately. If I want to change out his circle, I want that health circle from Padme. Immediately I can see the changes here. That's the current stats he has with his previous mods and this is the new ones. The changes here as well and uh, this is one of the best parts of Playground is that you can see effective health and protection here right here. Also there's one good thing as well. Yeah, you can sort by uh, Sort by effective health and protection as well. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can make this playground work now that we are all, all going. Uh, we're gonna sort by effective health and protection as I mentioned earlier because we want to make my Kylo Ren Unmasked really tanky. And um, so we're gonna start by switching out those. And um, the really good part about this is that it will uh, it takes into account uh, effective health and protection if you didn't know it's uh, how your health and protection and your defense work together the higher your defense is the more effective your health and protection is because you will be taking less damage as you can see here I have uh, 209,000 effective health and protection and that is my effective health and my protection working with my uh, armor my defense so for really tanky characters that are going to face a team that doesn't do a lot of true damage you want to use effective health and protection to make sure that they are as tanky as possible and um, why true damage is a deciding factor here is because uh, true damage ignores defense and it will always deal 100% damage it's uh, never going to be reduced by your defense we're gonna assign some mods here to my Kylo Ren. I'm not gonna talk so much about the mods themselves as I'm just trying to showcase how the tool works if you're new into using this. Actually, not going to go for uh, effective health and protection there alone. I'm going to set speed arrow since I want him to be slightly fast as well, even though he's gonna be tanky. And then. Uh, we want a six start for that one. Perfect. I think I'm gonna go for health triangle. Like, uh, since I don't have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren yet, I usually play with Kylo Ren as the leader, so I like having a lot of health on him for the health regeneration when he gets debuffs. And we're gonna go for uh, health on the cross as well. Mm, there we go, health cross. This, uh, as you can notice, when I wasn't uh, filtering by health crosses, it was going for protection primaries because that's going to be more effective to get a higher effective health and protection. Because so uh, that's why I'm changing it to health primaries because uh, health is going to work out better on him. 
So when I'm done with uh, assigning all of these mods here, it's going to highlight them yellow because I'm, uh, assi I've assigned them to a character during this session in the playground. When I'm all done, I mark him as complete. And then I can go back and this character is going to get a slight outline here showing that I'm completing him and he's in the current loadout as well. And uh, <coughs> the check mark here is going to show that he's completed as well. If I were to com uh, so filter by completed characters now, he will be there. And if I were to filter by changed, he will show him and all the characters that I've taken mods from as well. And uh, I can also check in that. It shows that he is included in the current loadout that I'm working on, which is a great function as well. We're going to go back to working on my first order characters and uh, finishing the rest of the team. But General Hux, I just want him to be as bloody fast as possible. And because of that, we have this amazing, amazing function. We're gonna load a set on him. We're gonna choose the fastest set. And there we go. He's up to 173 extra speed. Load that and all done. They didn't have to click uh, more than a few buttons. And as you can see here, he's getting 81 more speed than he had earlier. And just marking him as complete. And we're going to the next one. My Kelleran is only gear 11, so we won't be able to utilize any 6 dot mods on him. And as you can see, all of them are grayed out here. The yellow ones are mods that I'm using on other characters during this session, so I can't. So I can use them. I'm gonna actually going to showcase what happens if I try to use them. You're gonna see, you're gonna take this. No, that's on hmm, Kylo Ren. Uh, they don't have any 5 dot mods. Oh well, never mind. We're going to assign this mod. We're going to assign this arrow from Kylo Ren onto my uh, other Kylo Ren. <laughs> Kylo Ren with the mask. Took the mod from the Kylo Ren without the mask. And there we go. It's assigned to him right now. If I mark him complete and go back, you're gonna see that the check mark on Kylo Ren unmasked is not checked anymore. He has a yellow background to his portrait now to show that he is decompleted. Decompleted means that I completed him earlier, but now I have taken a mod from that loadout that I made for him and assigned to another character. Which means that he has been decompleted, he is not having the initial loadout that I gave him, so I should be checking out him once more to make sure that it looks like I wanted to. So then I go in here, I can assign another arrow to him because I wanted that other arrow on my Cairo Ren. So we're gonna use that one that was on Padme instead. Uh, oh, this, I love this function as well, confirmation. I don't wanna discard pending, I wanna save and return, of course. Uh, we're gonna f continue Kylo Ren. Uh, since he is only gear 11, I'm not really sure how I wanna mod him. I want him to... Uh, want him to be a... Actually, I'm, since I'm not sure, there's another great tool for this. And uh, we can auto. We can auto apply tools to him. Uh, tool, we can auto apply mods to him. And this is a really, really great function because this auto applies the mods based on what the top guilds in the world uses. So, what this does is it will gather data from them to check what. Uh, secondaries they're using, what primaries and what sets they're using, and then it's going to apply that to the character of your choice. And if you click on the portrait here, on the main page at the top left corner, you can see the target sets and what it's going, what the weights, stat weights are, basically. Um, so yeah, you can see here that uh, the secondaries, uh, these are basically stat weights here. You can see how many of the how the top guilds are using the secondaries on the mods on this character. So speed is the number one. So uh, there's a lot of health on him and some offense and defense and protection as well. And as you see here, her main primaries, people put circle prote protection circles, speed arrows, crit damage triangles and offense crosses on him. 
and use these sets. So I'm gonna use the auto apply on him because I don't know how I wanna build him. And this is another very great function in the playground. Going to assign that and then go on to the next one. So I want my first order executioner and uh, I like building my first order executioner pretty tanky. I like buffing up his health because he got that unique that it makes him do more damage the more health he has and he has stacking health as well I think. Uh, don't quote me on that I'm pretty sure he has stacking health. But I'm gonna start out by checking how the auto look looks and uh, uh, actually not gonna go that way I'm gonna look at how the way is here and as you can see a lot of people bought him with high health more than with offense but as always with a lot of speed so we're gonna have that in mind we're gonna go for some I'm gonna sort by speed actually and we're gonna try and single out some mods with uh, pretty good health secondaries and we wanna do like a secondary we want some health health or health percent in there another great function because that will give you either of them and if it has a health uh, primary it's going to show you health uh, uh, mods with a health flat secondary oh yeah I could load uh, grievous mods that's a good idea I'm gonna show you how you do that so if you know I want to get a lot of health on my first order executioner and you know that your general grievous is gonna have a lot of health and some speed He's gonna have matching mods to what I want on my first order executioner. I can go into load set. I choose loadout. Select my loadout. I know I have General Green. It is in the in the there one that one. Dark side territory belts. Duku phase four mission. And then I choose General Grievous. And here we go. A lot of health health primaries with some secondary speed as well it would put my first order execution at 94 speed and 22,000 extra health so that's the one I want that's a really good tips range thanks for that uh, and then we check him as completed now you can see here we have four characters here all completed oh oh yeah yeah that's why I stole another mod from him. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna end up with the Kyle Ren on mask not having any mods left at the end. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to Sith Trooper next. Mm. And uh, I mentioned it earlier for new users. Uh, Strange is working tediously on getting some backgrounds for this square here because right now it's. Uh, if you're looking at a lot of these, it's not that intuitive to understand that you have to click on them to get here and also there that they don't s are up here, but I know that Strange is working really hard on getting this looking as good as it can, so if we hang in there for a little bit more, I'm sure it will be fixed very soon. So for Sith Trooper, I want him to be very offense heavy. I want him to have uh, a crit damage. Uh, triangle I want him to have a crit damage set and uh, we're gonna start out by that taking out the no oh, <laughs> can't more uh, choose that one there we go uh, we're gonna put that on in them I didn't have a lot of them that weren't six dot mods mm. and uh, if I wanted to uh, I could simulate this one to see how it would look on him if it wear a 6 dot mod by clicking this little radio button here and pressing that and show as you can see here it shows a little information there and this will go up to so it simulates being a 6 dot mod so you can see what the stat would get by doing that um, so I want to do him offense heavy and then we're going to go with the offense total sort and this is another a really really great sorting because what it'll do is it will uh, calculate if it's better to use raw offense or offense percent when uh, selecting mods and uh, what this means is basically you don't have to yourself either just play around and see if that 148 offense flat 
is better than the... Mm, that was a bad example. If this uh, 5.88 offense percent primary is better than those 125 offense on a secondary. So usually you would have to either sit and do the calculations yourself, guess them, or just play around and see, yeah, that gives him 430 extra damage, that only gives him 428. So that's quite easy, but it, by sorting by offense total, you get that um, straight out with the sort, and that's really great. So we're gonna see if we can get some mods on my red lobster here. And going for a lot of offense, as I mentioned, I also want a crit damage set. So I'm gonna start by applying the best ones with sets on them. Uh, there we go, we have a square, we have a cross. We would like a an arrow with speed on it, that's nice. And then we're gonna go for a circle, there we go. Now we got the four mm, offense sets there. And then we're gonna go over to just filtering by and just sorting by offense total and go fill in this tall two last slots. Mark him as complete. And now that we're finished here, got my five characters. Yeah, I could count this time. Uh, and then we're gonna save that. We're gonna save as, since we don't wanna make a new crate loadout. Want this to be called my first orders. And the loadout category would be in, uh, I'm gonna save it on the dark side territory battles for now. Yeah, a strange mention. If you're using the playground, make sure to save occasionally because uh, sometimes you're gonna misclick. And if you click away from this page, there's a chance that um, your progress will be. Uh, you'll lose your progress. And if you were to reload the page by mistake as well, you're going to get logged out of uh, the site and then you will definitely lose your progress. So there we go, and when I'm saving this, I can, these are characters that I've been working on, that's why they're selected, I can add other characters if I want as well. Not interested in that right now, or I could add, add all the characters in my roster by clicking this button here. And uh, when I finish, I press the button, create new loadout. Uh, the playground is fully usable on mobile. Uh, I use it there myself sometimes when I'm in a pinch. I wouldn't recommend doing a full uh, uh, full um, rosters with uh, on mobile. Uh, I'd suggest doing. You could do five characters if you're in a pinch and you want to do an assault ba assault battle. Excuse me, or have it forgotten your galactic challenges or your galactic conquest or something like that, and you need to speed mod a team. You could uh, use the uh, mobile version of it to do that. I've done it several times, and um, that's another thing that uh, Strange has done a very, very good job of uh, implementing is that uh, you can scroll back and forth between the screens. I can't show you right now because uh, I'm on the desktop, but. Uh, what you do is you'll have uh, all the screens separate, so you'll see the character and the, uh, click in on the characters, then you see the mods, and then you press to swipe right, and then you can change the mods. And um, you can then swipe back and forth. Uh, yeah, it is challenging, and but I think it's been very, very implemented, very great, uh, good, based on the amount of information we're trying to relay, because I mean, this is on a very big screen, I'm doing this, and you can see the amount of information that is on screen. If you want to show all of the mods, all of the stats, and the character, and all of these buttons, the filters, and all of this, uh, uh, all of my mod inventory at the same time, it's not possible on a 16-inch screen. Uh, because it's getting too small, it's getting very cramped. You can resize the browser in the on the mobile. You mean? Because um, what I do is I'll play I'll play around in landscape mode when doing the playground on mobile because uh, portrait mode doesn't work. 
it gets too cramped then. Uh, but I'll go to landscape mode and uh, actually I could do it like this. I have my phone right with me here. I'm gonna bring it up on that and hopefully you can see it. Uh, I can show you what I mean. I'm gonna do it like this to begin with. Uh, so there we go, I'm going to go over to Big Me and I'm gonna bring up. Uh, here we go, got the playground on my phone. So what I'll do is I'll go over to landscape mode like that. Sorry, there we go. And uh, then I'll choose Jedi uh, Master Luke. I want to change out that one for him. Then I'll go over. Um, oh, wait. I'll, I think I'm using portrait mode. Yeah, I think I'm using portrait mode when I'm doing. I was just. don't know what I'm so doing myself. So I choose the uh, circle like that. Go over there. You can see all the circles. Then you can go to the landscape if you want. Sort it down. And I agree. It's totally cramped like this. But it does work in a pinch. And usually what I do when I'm on my mobile, I'll just use the auto assigns. I'll use auto, get the best mods for like that. I'll use the fastest one and get the best mods for that. And that's only because I want to be able to do it uh, really, really fast. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, that if, you, if you're sitting on a bus uh, going somewhere, you're going to your relatives or well, not right now with COVID in the world, but you're sitting on a bus going to work, or if you're sitting at dinner with your family and you realize, oh, it's an hour before Turtle Wars are locking and I haven't modded my um, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren that I just unlocked. So, uh, so yeah, it, um, it works in a pinch, but it's too much information to relay on a small screen. So we're gonna check uh, out slicing because I didn't know that that was fixed yet. It's a feature that I've been waiting for a long time. So let's say we're gonna do it on a, yeah, we gotta do it on first order executioner. Say uh, I like this mod a lot. It has 19 speed with four alts on it, so it's actually a really good mod. I don't know what it's five dots still. Uh, what I do is. Uh, First off, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna check how good that becomes on six dots. And as you can see, it's 20 speed on four rolls. That's an average five per roll. That's really good. It has some health and protection, and it's yeah, it's a fairly decent mod. I would want to slice that more. So what I do is I select the mod here. Oh, I selected it. I select the mod, then I click manage at the bottom here. And you can see, oh, <laughs> strange, my man, what is this? This lovely, lovely design here. So what I can see is the current stats on it. The new stats, if I were to slice it to six dot mods, the changes in that, I can see the change in uh, the delta of that and the delta percent. Also can see the overall quality here, it can change to uh, C percent of possible, just like in the mod manager, normal or raw quality. And then I can slice it from here. And this is a feature I've been waiting for a very long time. I've been actually nagging on Strange to fix it, because uh, it's really good to be able to slice from the playground. And there we go, I just sliced that mod from uh, 5 dots to 6 dots, all from the playground. And that's really amazing because um, yeah, we're changing the editor too. Cool, didn't know that. Uh, oh, there we go. Sweet. So uh, that's really great. Then you don't have uh, before you had to switch between the two and uh, to try and kind of find the mods that you wanted to slice and stuff like that. So it's uh, really. It's a really big part of the tool, being able to do it all in the same space. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and ask any questions on Discord. You can also check out my modding services called Swoaching, I have a Patreon page and my own Discord as well which is linked in the description. Take care out there, until the next time.